All right, now that we have our wires soldered to the motors and we have our holes drilled in the containers, it's time for us to work on putting the wax in the containers and the motors all together. So we'll start with our containers. We've put the hole in the bottom for the motor shafts and the first thing we're going to do is put a thin layer of wax in the bottoms. Uh, in order to stop all the wax from pouring out as we do that, we'll take a small piece of tape tape over the bottom of each of the canisters. Once that's done, we'll take our heated wax and using the pipettes, go ahead and put some wax into the bottom. Once you have about a quarter inch worth of wax in the bottom, go ahead and set it down. Now, we'll take one of our motors and lower it into the container. And the idea is to guide the motor so that it comes out the hole we drilled in the bottom. Once we get the motor in, go ahead and lightly press it and it will actually push the tape off. And you'll end up with having your motor come through the bottom of the container. Then go ahead and place it in your stand in one of the holes and you're ready to go ahead and get the next motor ready. Okay, So we'll repeat that three times and then we'll go ahead and top off the containers. Now that each of the motors is sealed on the bottom, now we'll go ahead and top off each of the canisters till it's just a bit flush with the top, and then we'll push the tops back on. For heating up the wax, uh, what you want to do is you want to melt the wax in a container that's in a hot water bath. In this case, we're using a hot pot for the water and I have in here a small uh, aluminum tray that we melted all the wax into. Um, you can do just about any combination. Uh, the point of using the water bath is so that you don't burn the wax and uh, A, make a ton of smoke and uh, controls the temperature so it doesn't get too hot and melt your containers. And we just do that for all three motors. The other thing we did, as you see, we made a, a stand to hold these while we work. Um, definite, definitely something you should do because the hot wax, the containers get hot, can't really hold them by hand. Uh, in this case, we took a cardboard box and drilled a set of holes in them. And the motor shafts just drop right down in the hole and it holds everything together. Now, one of the things that may happen as you pot your motors is you will get some air pockets like you see on the side of the container. Uh, what you can use is a hot air gun or a hair dryer to reheat the wax in this area and let it flow down and then top them off again if needed. Uh, these aren't too bad so we'll keep them as is but depending on uh, how many you're doing and how quickly you do it you may have some need to remelt the wax in the containers and hot air is a perfect way to do that. So these are now all full. We'll take our caps and press them on. Do so slowly and carefully because if you did it right, the wax comes right up to the tops and could potentially squirt out through the hole. So nice and slow. Now the thing to remember is that all the wax in the container does not seal the motor. The wax that seals the motor is the wax that's directly against the motor and the wax that's right here around the shaft. Everything else in here is just to help get rid of all the air and air bubbles in the motors. So as long as you have good coverage around both ends of your motor, your wires are securely coming out the tops, you're good to go.
And that's how we pot the motors. Now that our motors have cooled, we're ready to install the shafts and propellers onto each of the motors. The shafts slide onto the motors and then the propellers will go onto the shafts. And we will secure this all using the epoxy included in the kits. The epoxy in here is a two-part epoxy, which means that you have to mix the part A and the part B together and then you'll have about three to five minutes before it hardens. So we need to make sure that we have all of our parts laid out and organized so that we're ready to put them together in that limited amount of time. In order to make sure that we're ready, the first thing we'll want to do is put the first of the small brass nuts on each one of our shafts. Go ahead and push it all the way up until it stops. Do that for all three of the shafts. Now we'll want to make sure that the shafts the propellers, and then the final nut are each laid out where they're accessible so that when we need them, we'll be able to grab them quickly and move on. The last step before getting the epoxy ready is to clean off each of the motor shafts with the alcohol cleaning pad in the kits. This is to make sure that the epoxy will stick to the motor shafts as best as possible. Once they're clean, we now have everything ready for the epoxy. The motors are cleaned, our shafts are in props, and nuts are all laid out, and we are ready now to mix the epoxy and assemble everything. We want to mix the epoxy on a disposable surface. In this case, I have a piece of paper plate. We want to get all of the material out of the packets. Make sure you put that someplace because it will make a mess. Then go ahead and mix these together. It's really important to make sure that the epoxy is well mixed. If it's not mixed well, it won't harden, and we'll have problems with our props and shafts coming apart. Okay. Now everything is mixed. What we want to do is take each one of the shafts, put a little bit of epoxy, try to get it down the hole, then take one of the engine shafts, place some epoxy on that as well. And then piece that together. Now be careful as you piece this together because you'll get air trapped inside and it will try to shoot the end off. So you need to work it on to get all the air out from inside the shaft. We'll go ahead and do that again. And then slide it in here. Working it to get the air out. All right, now that we have all three shafts on, the next step is to put the propellers. So again, we'll put some more epoxy onto this shaft. Take our propellers, and it's important to note that the propeller has a notch in one side of it. The notch part of the propeller goes towards our motor. Okay. Put a little bit more epoxy right on the end, and that will help hold our final nut in place. Once you get that assembled, go ahead and set it aside and make sure you do your other two. Now as you can see, you don't need to rush to do this, but any significant delays may cause you to have to get uh, another round of epoxy to finish up. And if that happens, it's fine. Doesn't all have to be done in one shot. All right, now finally, what we'll want to do is take a pair of pliers, just tighten up those nuts one last time, 
Make sure you hold on to the shaft underneath because it is also not yet firmly onto the motor shaft, just to make sure everything's nice and snug. When that's completed, it's time to set that aside and let the epoxy cure.